Hey, you ever wonder about superconductivity? With possibly one of the most important scientific breakthroughs of the 21st century. It was claimed to herald a monumental breakthrough. Some are calling it the holy grail of chips, a superconductor. You might have heard about conducting materials. Metal is a commonly used conductor. Uh, copper is relatively inexpensive. It's bendable, so you can make wires out of it. And basically, electrons move through the copper, and it carries electricity. But you need a force to make that happen. You need a voltage that will drive a current. Okay. So, as the electrons move through the medium, because it doesn't have to be copper, it could be gold. Gold is a nice conductor of electricity. If it conducts, as the electron moves, it gets resistance from the material itself. And that resistance slows down the current. If it eats it, what does it then do with it? It heats up the wire, the wire gets hot. So, for many circuits, if you feel the wires after a time, they feel warm. This is electrical resistance to the movement of those electrons. Sometimes you want resistance, and we've made electrical components called resistors. This, this enables you to change the current from one place to another, because not all current is useful in all places. So circuit boards have all manner of circuit components, and it includes resistors for just this purpose. For some materials, there exists a temperature below which, and it happens abruptly, a temperature cold enough that below that temperature, all resistance drops to zero. You could take away the battery that's driving a voltage and whatever current was there will stay in the wire forever with no loss of current. That is superconductivity. So, superconductivity is something you would want. Driving an electrical grid with no loss of current. There's lost current moving electricity from one place to another. And so if you could embed the entire electrical system in a very cold vat of liquid nitrogen, and you made all of your wires out of a material that would go superconducting at the temperature of liquid nitrogen, we would have no current losses anywhere. But who wants to live in liquid nitrogen, <laughs> okay? Liquid, at what temperature? It's 70 degrees Kelvin, all right? If you dipped a banana in liquid nitrogen and pulled it out a minute later, it'll and you could hit it with a hammer, it'll shatter. By the way, those would be high temperature superconductors. At that cold temperature, those are high temperatures because most of the traditional superconductors don't go superconducting until they are down around 10 degrees Kelvin, five degrees Kelvin, three degrees Kelvin, okay? And that's cold. No, you can't walk around with something that's four degrees Kelvin. Oh, by the way, officially, we don't use the term degree, referring to Kelvin, it's just four Kelvins. But I'm letting, I'm reminding you that they are temperatures. So why is that cold? Because zero Kelvin is the coldest possible temperature you can get. It's the absolute temperature scale. Zero on the absolute scale has no negative temperatures, All right? That is the coldest you can possibly be. So there's a hunt for a room temperature superconductor. The problem is many of them are made of ceramic, the ones that are approaching room temperature. And ceramic, it tends to be brittle. Uh, our electrical system is made of wires that bend and go around corners and through conduits and pipes and up into your equipment and into circuit boards. Ceramic has a way of breaking if you bend it at all. So it is not clear how we would use ceramic superconductors 
in our culture relative to how we've been using electricity to this day. It's not clear how one would replace the other, or maybe we'd have to invent a whole new way of thinking about electrical components so that it's no longer in the context of wires. I don't know. But it is a frontier of material physics and the industrial applications in controlled settings are limitless. The question is whether it is portable to all of society. So another feature of superconductivity is that it rejects all magnetic fields. So what you can do a thing where you have a magnet attached to metal and it's attracted to it, and then you drop the temperature of that metal below its own superconducting threshold. And at that point, the magnetic field that had been penetrating it gets rejected out of it. And the magnet then begins to float on top of it. By the way, in Texas, Waxahachie, Texas, we began digging a hole to build the largest particle collider in the world that was going to use superconducting materials for the magnetic field that would be accelerating the charged particles to make the most powerful particle accelerator in the world. And it was called the superconducting super collider. The initial funding began in the 1980s under President Reagan. And then early 90s, uh, Congress cut the budget. And the center of mass of particle physics moved to Europe, to Switzerland, to the, the European Center for Nuclear Research, CERN is their, is their acronym. And they then made the next round of discoveries. Not us here in the United States. Oh, why did we cut the funding? Oh, if you look at the report, it says, oh, it's cost overruns, can't do it, cost this, cost that. Oh yeah, really? Really? Oh, like really? What, what else happened in like 1989, 19, oh, 19, peace broke out in Europe. That's what happened. The Cold War ended. Oh, gone is the funding for the physics that we had so thoroughly funded for the entire 20th century. So no, the report doesn't say peace broke out. We don't need physicists anymore. No, it doesn't say that. But that happened right around that time. Just saying. So, uh, so that would have been a scientific application, fully exploiting superconducting materials to make the most powerful magnetic field you can to accelerate the particles and make the most powerful atom smasher the world had ever seen. Anyhow, that's what's up with that. This has been uh, Star Talk. Neil deGrasse Tyson, your personal astrophysicist, with another What's Up With That.